The guests and discussions on this show are not endorsed by the show or show host. The content is provided for informational and educational purposes only. Nothing you hear is intended to substitute for medical advice, diagnosis, and or treatment by a qualified health professional. Welcome to Health Revolution with V, your integrative health adventure. Welcome to the Health Revolution with V Show. I am very excited for my guest that I have on today because I have been trying to get her to you for quite some time. Mm -hmm. And you're gonna be very, very happy when you hear who she is. So I have with me today, Jody Hart, and she is a certified clinical thermographer. What is that? We're going to find out. Uh, she transitioned into the field of clinical thermography six years ago as of the date of this recording, under the mentorship of renowned expert Barbara Thurman. Passionate about holistic well-being, she is committed to promoting health and early detection through her work at Treasure Coast Thermography. So without further ado, we want to bring on Jody Hart. Welcome, Jody. Hi, thank you. Thanks for having me. I'm so glad I finally got you here. <laughs> glad to be here. Can you please tell our audience, let's start first off by telling us a little bit about you. Well, I am born and raised actually in Wisconsin, and I was a uh, traveling surgical nurse way back in the day. So that's what led me to Florida. And um, I did that for numerous years. Then I transitioned into being a um, medical device sales rep, still in surgery, which took me to Miami. And 16 years ago, me and my husband uh, moved up to Stewart and started having kids, and then I took off and raised my children. Oh, I have three you. children, 18, oh. 16, and 13. So they kept me busy, so it, I loved being home and you know raising them. And then I um, actually, when my 13-year-old, um, actually I was pregnant with him, and I found a lump in my left breast and could not have a mammogram at the time. So actually my husband is one that found thermography for me and I started seeing Barbara Thurman. Um, so I've been seeing Barbara for, uh, well, at this point I've been having thermography on myself for 14 years. And um, Barbara trained me six years ago to be a thermographer. So I started and now I have my own business. I love that so much. What an incredible story. Yeah. And to, to just go from doing it yourself. So so you just found a passion in, in that work. Yeah, when I got the report back of my own uh, thermal images, I, I couldn't, I was like, wow, it's so much more than what you get with other studies. It's very, very impressive, the stuff you can find and detect on it early on. And that's exciting. That's very, very yeah. exciting. And also, I have found in the past like other imaging type things where they weren't really so accurate. And then you find yourself having procedures done that you probably didn't need to have done, right? Right, because, exactly. Do you see a lot of that too? Oh, all the time. Because this thermography is, it's DITI, which is Digital Infrared Thermal Imaging, and it detects heat patterns. It's not detecting structure like other images. So in when you're having a structure being detected, that structure has to get large enough to kind of block the X-ray beam. We're not detecting structure. We're detecting heat patterns, blood flow. So you're te detecting it in the infancy stages of inflammation. So you're, you can detect things eight to 10 years before other studies can. Wow, now that is amazing. Yeah. So into that, like leading more into that question. Um, so let's just talk about like a mammogram in, in particular. Mm -hmm. So what is the difference? How does that differ having the thermography test done from having a mammogram done? Well, the biggest thing why most people come to me for breast imaging is no radiation. There's no radiation, no compression. No, it's non-invasive. That's the main reason people come uh, because the radiation studies are proving year after year after year in a small confined area are leading to more problems than you know what it's fixing and what it's detecting and like you said people with dense breasts all these things are structure and that structure leads to uh, looking like there's something there and then it leads to further studies biopsies that are unnecessary what, where this is always comparing the images from your first report to your second report 
they're always the doctors are always reading the heat patterns making sure they're getting less and not you know developing into something you're not just getting a yes or a no answer you know let's move on maybe something could be growing there but you don't know until the next year wow this is detecting it way far in advance and you're you're actually seeing it in action you're seeing the heat in you know in live view so with the mammogram then how often would a woman say have to have a mammogram done a mammog- I mean, not, a ma- a th- not a mammogram but instead of the mammogram the thermography for in, to replace the mammogram is right. that annually you, you would do it yeah yearly um it, when you first have your first thermoscan for a breast not for the rest of the body but for the breast they need a baseline because when you first come in and it's your first one they don't have anything to compare those heat patterns too because mm-hmm. everybody has heat patterns like we have a fingerprint mm-hmm. it's when those heat patterns start changing and we can watch those and make sure they're not changing uh, it doesn't have to wait until it's something big enough to block an x-ray beam eight years down the road wow. and detect it i just posted something um, a doctor posted uh, um, some studies about that and it says uh, it can detect stuff eight to ten years before other studies can we're detecting it about year two, where you can still watch it and catch it before it turns into something, you know, more aggressive. Now, see, and that's amazing right there. I mean, thinking about if a person could find out 10 years sooner, even two years sooner. Oh, yeah. I mean, what kind of difference could that be? Oh, amazing. And so when you do your first breast scan, they need something. So it would be three, depending on what they think your heat patterns look like. It would either be three months or six months that you would come back and that's your baseline and then it would be yearly after that unless of course they detect something okay so initially if i were to come in for my breast examination with thermography i would come in and three months later have another scan done just to make sure yes so from the baseline to make sure there was nothing different yeah that third the the second scan three months or six months later that's your baseline okay. so nothing's getting away from us within that year. You don't wanna go a whole year after your first scan. They wanna make sure that those are, you know, the patterns stay stable and that those are just your heat patterns and nothing's changing. Okay. And then it would be, you know, yearly after that. Ideally, would it be three months or six months? It depends on what they see. Six months is normal. If they see something that looks of a little more concern, they kind of base uh, breast uh, thermography, low level of concern, moderate or high and they have their standards of how they're coming to that conclusion and then if it was more of a low mo- low to moderate would be six months if they saw something that looked a little more concerning they might say six if mm-hmm. they saw something right off the bat that was like wow that looks concerning go see a breast specialist before you even come back for thermography okay so they would you can tell even just from the initial scan if something is going yeah, on. yeah the doctors that read the images absolutely okay can see. i think we can bring us i think we can bring like the the picture of the breast scan up on yeah. the screen for people and for those of you who are on the podcast version i highly recommend going to the video version just so that you can see these images and what we're talking about so for right now you might be a little out of the loop you're going to get the information but i highly recommend go back and watch so you can see what we're talking about so can we talk about that that picture yes so you can see on her which would be her left side is nice and blue and green Mm -hmm. so the color patterns are you know black is the coolest all the way ranging to white is the hottest so on the uh, her left breast is nice and blue and green and on the other side her right side you can see that more vascular pattern that's um, stating that there definitely is something going on in that breast. Wow. And that's very evident. I mean, from looking at that, you could just say, wow, yeah, there's something going on. And and that's not detecting the structure. Remember, that's detecting heat. So that would be more the blood flow and the vasculature feeding whatever's kind of going on there. Okay. Well, that makes a lot of sense. So they're not looking at masses. They're not looking nope, for masses. They're it's actually, not structural. That's just the heat, the inflammation yep. of what's And since the skin, it's measuring the heat in the top quarter inch of our skin. And since our skin is the largest organ of our body, it's detecting physiological changes in our body. Wow. So that is outstanding. Yeah. 
an amazing study. Wow. Well, that's perfect timing. We're going to we're going to take a quick commercial break because uh, we want to thank our commercial sponsors that helped us to bring this show to you. So don't go away. We'll be back with Jody Hart, Treasure Coast Thermography, and we're going to learn a lot more. We'll see you when we get back. Forever Young Stewart can help you look and feel your best with our amazing aesthetic services, IV therapies, and bioidentical hormone replacement therapy. These services and more will aid in your overall physical and mental health. Please visit us at foreveryoungstewart.com. That's the number four everyoungstewart.com. Have you been told that you need to cut way back on sugars due to a health condition? Do you find yourself struggling to give up the sugars even though you know your health depends upon it? If you answered yes, my online Hidden Sugars class is for you. Take charge of your health and visit eatingwithv.com and take the class. Apex Electric is a family-owned and operated, licensed and insured electrical contractor with over 30 years of experience. No job is too big or too small. With free estimates and a one-year warranty, Apex Electric is your premier contractor on the Treasure Coast. AAPEXelectricInc.com Welcome back to the Health Revolution with V Show. We are here with Jody Hart, our certified clinical thermographer. And I do want to touch on real quickly um, how to find Jody, and it's tcthermography.com. That's T as in Tom, C as in Charlie, thermography.com. So you can go there and make an appointment. And while we were on the break, we made it welcome back, Jody, by the way. Thank you. While we were on the break, we made a like a quick had a quick discussion about um you know, sharing what had happened to me. And so very briefly, I'll tell you that I did go have a mammogram a few years ago, and they pretty much told me that I had to now go have this surgical biopsy, right? And we get in there, and it was just something like calcification. So put my body through that. I have a scar on my breast now because they surgically went in and did that. So you see that often? Oh, all the time. Mm -hmm. And especially women with dense breasts, which is a very high percentage of women with dense breast. And it's hard because in a mammogram, they're looking for structure, like mm -hmm. we already discussed. Mm -hmm. And that density shows up as something. And so they'll have recalls, um, recall mammograms. Then they'll be going in for you know ultrasounds, which why don't we just do the ultrasound, skip the radiation. <laughs> but right. um, then they'll have biopsies. They're going for biopsies. And the anxiety it causes in these women. And finally, they just get sick of that after time. Like, wow, every time I go, if my dents are, uh, my breasts are dense, it's always going to show up as something. Right. So a lot of us, a lot of them find us through that, you know, going through that experience. Yeah, for sure. And, yeah. and you know, I haven't had gone through it myself, too. I do want to point out that your insurance might cover a mammogram. But they're not going to continuously cover you if they go back. And then you got to have the surgical thing. And it, right. by the time all is said and done, you might as well just have the thermography testing done. Right. Because right. it would be a lot less invasive. It would be a lot less money by the time you go and go and go. And it would be more accurate, right? Well, and it's picking stuff up so far in advance. And since everything's connected in the body, I would like to have um, everyone start with an at least an upper body scan. Because there's so many studies out there uh, stating, like root canals, for instance, you know that how that leads can can lead to breast cancer, heart disease. So everything's connected in the body. So I think it's a good starting place to either have a full body scan or at least upper body. An upper body covers everything from the waist to the top of the head. If you did an upper body scan you don't have to then have another one in three to six months. You would just come back six months later for your baseline breast then, then yearly after that. Okay. So once they've had the initial scans done, minus the breast exam, of course, then annually they just come and make sure that everything is okay. Yes. And it's great for when you start detecting 
if you detect anything and you start implementing changes, you start doing a detox, you start um, doing lymph drainage, um, you know, they'll say in the report maybe for breast health. That's another thing is they teach you about breast health. It's not how you can improve it. It's not just, oh, there's nothing there. We'll see you next year. They're teaching you things you can do to change your breast health around, taking vitamin D, um, dry brushing, rebounding, all different types of ways you can change it around. So by moving lymph and doing Absolutely. like lymph exercises and things. Yes, because like that's another biggie, especially in women. Lymph congestion is a big one. Yeah, I know. I find myself struggling with that, with all the toxins in the air and all these yes. viruses in the air and all this stuff now that I'm constantly having to um, do like liver cleansing and, and yep. detoxification. So um, let's talk about some of the other areas of the body. So we've covered breasts really well, which I'm hoping all you ladies are paying attention and men too, because right, it's not just for ladies. Definitely not just for ladies. I just had a lady who came in and her brother had just passed from breast cancer. Mm. So it's definitely not just for ladies. And aside from that, this February is Heart Health Awareness Month. So that's easily detected on here as well. If there's heart issues going on uh, there. The, oh, yeah. We've got the scan up. Look yep, at that. The image he pulled up. This is gentlemen. You can see blue is not always good to have. Okay. Um, you can see here in his chest area, he's got a big blue area. That's an area of concern when you're talking about the heart because there's not really blood flow getting there. Wow. So and that's so clear. That's too. one area you do not want to see blue. Wow. And so, for those of you who are, are listening in or just came on board, make sure you go back to the beginning and watch and listen. And if you can jump on the, uh, my website, eatingwithv.com or um, uh, any of the, of the channels that you see in this video, you can um, watch and see what we're looking at right now as well. Yeah, and also on my website, I have all, a bunch of images on there as well. Yeah, and that's tcthermography.com. T is in Tom, C is in Charlie, thermography.com. We're going to take one quick commercial break, and then we're going to come back. We have a lot more things to cover with Jody while we have her here. So don't go away. We'll be back in just a moment. Need plumbing fast? Choose Benjamin Franklin Plumbing of Port St. Lucie. Our If There's Any Delay, It's You We Pay guarantee ensures punctuality. For every minute we're late, we pay you $5, up to $300. Call today at 772-CALL-BIN for reliable service you can count on. I Think Financial is a local credit union with a full portfolio of personal, business, and real estate services. We have a great team of professionals that care about you and financial success. Visit Elisha at the Hutchinson Island office at 1929 Seaway Drive, Fort Pierce, and other local branches on the Treasure Coast. I Think Financial. When disaster strikes, turn to the experts at Dry Medic of Port St. Lucie. For all your remediation needs, water, fire, mold, we've got you covered. Fast, reliable, and experienced. Call us today at 772-404-3266. Trimedic, restoring peace of mind when you need it the most. Is your insurance company telling you that you have to replace your roof? Nice Roofing is a family and veteran owned and operated local business. Choose peace of mind and quality work with this Owens Corning Platinum Certified Contractor. Join thousands of satisfied customers. Visit niceroofing.com. Welcome back to the Health Revolution with V Show. We are going to pick Jody's brain as long as we have her here. So, real quickly, I want to ask you, Jody, how can people make an appointment with you? Because that's very important. I'm sure they're wanting to meet with you now. Yeah, I like to talk to them and and pick the best scan, that, you know, for what they're looking for. So I have them call me, and they can call me directly. I do all my own scheduling, do the the images. It's seven seven two. 888-5533. That's 772-888-5533. All right, let's get back into the juicy, meaty stuff of what we're talking about here. So what are some of the other conditions that can be detected with thermography? Um, the, the biggest ones, it's amazing for detecting uh, carotid issues going on. So that's a, that's a biggie. Thyroid, teeth, sinuses, 
uh, digestive disorders. You can see digestive disorders in a thermoscan? Yeah, if there's a lot of inflammation wow. going on in the abdomen. Um, there's liver stress oh, wow. Look on that. that image, liver stress on the right. Is that what the blue is? We no, nope, the red coming oh. down under the right breast. Oh, That's uh, liver stress. I see. Liver congestion. Wow. Um, you can really scan any areas of the body. Uh, legs, great for vascular issues or varicose veins, clotting. Um, all kinds of issues um, can be detected. Wow, so, look at that. What, so all that red in the leg. Yeah, photo. that's varicose veins, wow. vascular issues going on. Yep. That is amazing. Great for musculoskeletal hands. Yes. I mean, how we were talking earlier about how everything's connected. Yep. The hands, um, if the hands are hot, often that'll represent either autoimmune conditions, can be blood sugar issues, diabetes. So they have ways of reading these thermal patterns to get a good understanding of what's going physi going on physiologically in the body. I knew I wanted you on this show so <laughs> badly. I'm so glad you're here. So what's the next step? Like after you do the imaging, then what's the process? What happens next? Yeah, I take all the images and I upload them to board certified physicians who are trained in reading these images, like a radiologist trained in reading MRIs or x-rays, and they create the report. So you get a, like for an upper body, full body, you get a six to eight page report, and it comes with all different kinds of ideas, uh, what they're seeing, ideas of how you can change that around. It, uh, it states if you have these certain symptoms, you might wanna dive further into, you know, more further testing on your thyroid if you're having these types of symptoms. Um, and then you can, I'll go over the report with you as well, because it is a lot of lingo that people get afraid, like, wow, they, you know, they put the heat patterns and everything in there. It's a little scary sometimes. Um, so I help them read it and then they can also come in and go over the report with Dr. Leo, who is my husband. And that's included in the price of the scan. He does a lot of, he's a chiropractor, but does a lot of functional medicine. So if someone, if they already have a doctor, they can take their images and their report and bring that to their doctor for further um, clarification. If they need help, we're there for them all along the way. I think that is so fascinating. Like just that whole process. The fact that I know that whenever I have gotten a mammogram in the past, I don't, I never got like recommendations or anything great. Like, hey, you could holistically try this or that, right? They're just like, oh, you're just gonna go have this breast biopsy. That turns out you didn't need it anyway, sorry. You know, I mean, that to me is just so fascinating and exciting that someone could have a scan done. And then once the scan is done, they come back with recommendations and what it means and how. Right. How, wow. And I think the beauty of it is, is that you can always monitor. It, so if you start implementing the changes, you come back next year and you'll see your heat patterns start to go down and and change it around. That is amazing. Yeah. So as much as I would love to keep her here all day long, is there one other nugget that you would like to share with the audience, something important that you really would like to get across? Um, just the importance overall of, you know, having the imaging done and how, you know, just because like you said earlier that it's not covered by insurance, we make it very affordable. We take health savings, uh, you know, care credit, whatever. Um, I'll also, there is some grant funding out there um, that can help with that as well. So it's very important to, you know, have the imaging done. All right. Very important to have the imaging done. So make sure that you visit Jody at tcthermography.com. That's tcthermography.com. And you can definitely watch this video so you can see all of the scans if you haven't been able to see them, if you're on a podcast, and you can go to eatingwithv.com. And we'll look forward to seeing you. Thank you so much for coming. I also, I try to do a lot of educational stuff on my social media. So on Facebook, Instagram, TC Thermography, or I think it's Treasure Coast Thermography. Weekly, I try to do educational uh, posts on there just Even to better. educate people. Even better. So education that you can find on their social medias as well. Thank you so much for coming Thank on you. the show. Thank you. Thanks for having me. And we will look forward to seeing you on the next episode of Health Revolution with V. Did